of the city of London, Derry District, will lead us to the throne of grace in prayer. We bow together in prayer. Gracious God and loving Heavenly Father, we bow before you this afternoon, thanking you for the, the blessing of today, the blessing of your presence with us. We thank you, Lord God, that your love surrounds us, that your grace is sufficient for us. And we thank you indeed that you have brought us together and that we're united in Christ Jesus, our Lord. We come before a great and mighty and powerful God, the God of creation, the God of provision, the God of redemption in and through his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you this afternoon, Heavenly Father, as we draw an eye uh, together under the sound of your word, as we draw an eye to praise and to worship you, we thank you, Lord, we can do so uh, in spirit and in truth through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus. We thank you that Christ called us together. We thank you indeed that Christ is with us. We thank you, Lord, that your hand of blessing and goodness rests upon us. And we come to give glory to the living God, the God who has loved us and given himself up for us. Lord, we are but frail children of dust. And yet we can meet with you, we can talk with you, we can share with you in this powerful, powerful way. We think of your power, we think of your majesty, we think of all of your wonder and your glory. And yet, Father, how good it is to know that we, sinful men, women, young people and children, that we, Lord God, can come together and share together under the Lordship of Jesus and be assured also of your presence with us as we do so. We thank you for every privilege, Father, that is ours. We thank you that in every given situation of life and of living, we can be, continue to be assured of God's presence. And so we rejoice, Lord, that you're with us today, and we seek in all things to give you the glory. We thank you for the fellowship of Father, of Son, of Holy Spirit, that all-embracing Trinity that is sufficient for everything of life and of living. We acknowledge, Heavenly Father, before you that as human beings we are frail and weak, and above all, we are sinful. We acknowledge God's sins of thought and of word and of deed. We acknowledge, Heavenly Father, that we are, we are made in iniquity and we live together and we live day by day, Lord, in the sinfulness of our humanity. And Lord God, we also realize that we cannot hope of our own will, of our own work to do anything which would bring us to that glory of heaven, on, indeed of your presence and in heaven itself. But we rejoice this afternoon, Father, that you've given to us Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. We thank you for his humanity. We thank you, Lord God, for his life of preaching and of teaching and of healing, of miracles. And above all, we thank you, Father, that he gave his life for us upon the cross. We rejoice in Jesus today and the amazing sacrifice that he has made for us. And we thank you, Lord God, that we as an institution are based solely and firmly uh, upon the saving word of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord God, for all of, of the teaching uh, that we receive within this institution. We thank you, Lord, that it points us to Jesus because we thank you that in him we have one who is our mediator, above all, one who is our Savior and our Lord. So, Father, we come before you this afternoon in the name of Jesus. We thank you for his blood shed for us, for his body broken for us. We thank you that through he and through him alone we can come to know you as Lord and as Savior. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by him. And so Lord, as we share together under the sound of the word this afternoon, help us to understand, give us a listening ear, Lord. Help us to hear and to know what you're saying to us through your word as we lift your servant up to you this afternoon. We pray and be heavenly Father, as your word is opened up and shared with us, as it is explained to us, we ask in thee that you would come very quietly and very powerfully into the heart and life of each one of us. And if we do not know you, Lord, we pray that that salvation may be ours today of Christ. And if we do know you, Lord, and if we love you and serve you as Lord and Master, 
Help us, Father, we pray, to be encouraged and to be challenged, to go out into our homes and our, in our workplaces and to wherever we find ourselves in the days to come. Help us, Lord, we pray, to go out and to serve you because you alone are worthy. You alone are the one who has given himself for us and the one indeed, Father, who through this institution and more especially through our individual lives, the one whom we seek to serve. Lord, encourage us, we pray. Challenge us, we ask. Rebuke us, Father, where all of that is necessary. But above all, may we find in your word today a real joy and a real blessing for our soul. Asking all in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen.